We're now here at Retro Electronics and Audio Lab, and one of our biggest parts of our business is Hammond and Leslie Repair. And you can visit us on the, the World Wide Web at www.retroaudiolab.com. Here we have a Leslie 50C amplifier that we've been working on. This was originally designed to be used with con organs, but the actual application of this one is with a Hammond C3. The problem with this, it had some shorted 6V6 tubes, and it caused the cathode bias resistor, which you can see here, to overheat and burn up. There was a complaint of a smoke coming from the Leslie, so we replaced that with a new resistor, even a higher wattage rated one, and uh, we got that part of the circuit working. Then we put in a new filter capacitor too, as it had the old original cap in it, and we replaced some paper caps that were in the, uh, in the circuit here, going to the 6550s and the 6V6s. This is designed for use with a field coil woofer. The Leslie actually has a field coil woofer in it. So we've got a resistor here that, that's substituting in place of the field coil to keep the voltage in the circuit at the proper value. We've just got it hooked up with some alligator clip leads here. And uh, the sound quality is pretty good. This is a CD player that we use for testing all the amplifiers. And so just about every amp that has come through here has heard uh, Ain't Nobody Here But Us Chickens uh, played on it for test purposes. Now just take a look at the top of the uh, Leslie amp. Here is the top view of the Leslie 50C amplifier. And this was originally designed for use with a con organ that had separate channels for flute and string tones. It has some stationary speakers that are uh, up in the top of the Leslie cabinet, and those are uh, connected to the 6V6, as you can see here. And then the 6550s that are traditionally used in Leslie amps supply the power to the, uh, the woofer and horn that are in the rotating speaker system. And we found that uh, one of the 6V6s had shorted, and that was causing an overload in the cathode bias resistor. Another thing is a brand new filter capacitor. And we installed that. We're able to actually find an exact replacement, brand newly made plug-in capacitor, so we didn't have to rig up a separate mounting for new capacitors. We could just plug it right in. This one has 5U4 rectifier tubes and it's, as it's an early model, the later ones use silicon diodes. But one of those 5U4s was really weak, so we replaced one of those with a new tube. The other one still tested good. This is just about ready to go back into the Leslie cabinet at the church. We're just going to double check the voltages on it. it. Seems like it's performing pretty well now.